Good afternoon. We'll be doing chapter four, method of deduction, part eleven. Here we'll be doing the last two rules of rules based on the rule of replacement, ninth one and tenth one. Ninth is the rule of tautology, T A U T. The rule is as follows: P is equivalent to P and P, or it is also equivalent to P or P. This rule states that any statement is equivalent to an expression where the statement is the conjunction with itself or its disjunction with itself. Let us take an example to say that a butterfly is beautiful. Is same as saying that a butterfly is beautiful and a butterfly is beautiful. And also same as saying. a butterfly is beautiful or a butterfly is beautiful let us see the applications t implies l by gel p e dot w therefore l now suppose we want the consequent what should we do we can apply this to the part of the statement also so either you derive l by gel and apply the rule of tautology or first only you can apply the rule of tautology anything and you can simplify t and then use the rule of m so simplification t and now you can apply the rule of mp and you will get t implies l by l t therefore l by j 1 and 3 mp now you can apply the rule of tautology to get l Both the ways you can apply this rule. Left is given to you, then you can replace it by the right, and the right is given to you, then you can right hand side is given to you, then you can replace it by left. So you have arrived at L. This is the conclusion. Now we come to the next. We have E dot E with G, H dot curl E. Therefore G dot H. H you can simplify directly, but G if you want. You should have with you e dot e's negation. Let us apply the rule commutative law, and then you can simplify curling. Now, what will you do? Tautology will do, and you will get e dot e will be e. So e dot p will give you p like that. E dot e part of the statement you are applying the rule. U E H G. Now you can apply the rule of D S because we have the negation of the first disjunct. We can infer the second disjunct by D S rule. Now we have arrived at G. Now you can simplify H, which is in the second premise, separate it by simplification. Now you can join them. There is only one rule by which you can join two propositions, and that is the rule of conjunction. Six and seven joining them. Thus, we have arrived at the conclusion. Now we come to the third one. Here you can see that J is common, but they are not both conditional propositions, so you can convert them into conditional. or you can do is you have your both j's so you can use the rule of tautology and you can get this as curl j now you can apply the rule of mt to get negation of negative a so we'll get curl curl a now you can apply the rule of double negation to get a Once you get a, now you have the antecedent of the third premise, so you can derive the consequent, which is b, by MP rule. Now, what do you want? B dot b, so it's total. Thus, we have arrived at the conclusion. I will come to the fourth example. What do you want here? Curl D. 
so your k is common so you can do one thing is you can apply the rule of material implication and transform wedge into horseshoe you will get d horseshoe k now k and k is common so you can apply the rule of hs your k and k is common so apply the rule of hs and you will get d horseshoe equal d 3 and 2 hs now again you can apply the rule of material implication and change horseshoe into wedge this horseshoe will change it to wedge the sign of the left component changes so it will be called d wedge called d fourth material implication now we want called d so tautology twice it has been used you can write once fifth tautology thus we have arrived at the conclusion now we come to the last rule based on the rule of replacement that is the rule of exportation this rule is as follows p implies q implies r is equivalent to p and q implies r here we are changing the bracket and the sign changes this rule states that if we have a conditional statement with three components where the first component implies the second and the second component implies the third then this statement is equivalent to a conditional statement where the conjunction of the first two components imply the third component let us take an example if i go to the party then if i meet my friend then we will dance together is same as saying that if i go to the party and meet my friend then we will dance together let us see the application f dot n implies p f will be therefore called now here what you can do you can apply the rule of exportation and you will get f horseshoe n horseshoe p so now you can apply the rule of mp to get n horseshoe p negation of the consequent is with you you can get negation of the antecedent by mp thus we have arrived at the conclusion Now we come to the second one. Here we can again do is apply the rule of DS to two and three because we have a disjunctive statement and the negation of the first disjunctive. We can get the second disjunctive. Yes. Now here we want K, right? What we'll do? You bring them together, group them. Exportation. This is given to you. You can replace it by this. Now you have the antecedent with you. You can derive the consequent by empirical. Once you have arrived at K, you have just to add T to it by the rule of addition. Thus, we have arrived at the conclusion. thank you next class we will be doing the exercise based on all the 19 rules of inference